Harold K. Schneider. One language. This article needs additional citations for verification. Please help improve this article by adding citations to reliable sources. Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. Find sources, Harold K. Schneider News Times Newspapers Times Books Times Scholar Times Jester, August 2014. Learn how and when to remove this message. Harold K. Hal Schneider, 1925 the 2nd of May, 1987, 1, was an American seminal figure in economic anthropology. Born in Aberdeen, South Dakota, he attended elementary and secondary school in St. Paul, Minnesota, and did his undergraduate work at McAllister College and Seabury Western Theological Seminary, receiving a bachelor's degree in sociology, with a minor in biology, from McAllister in 1949. He then went to Northwestern University, where he was a student of Melville. Herskovitz, basing his dissertation on field research among the pocket of Kenya. 2. Upon receiving his PhD in anthropology in 1953, he moved to Lawrence University, where he eventually became chairman of the anthropology department. In 1970 he moved to Indiana University, where remained until he died in 1987. 2. Formalist Substantivist Debate, Edit Schneider focused on East Africa in his field work, and was especially influenced by his study of the Turu in Tanzania. His mentor, Melville Herskovitz, had also focused on East African pastoral peoples, and in this, as well as in Schneider's continued interest in morality and aesthetics, the Pupil followed the teacher. 3. Active in creating the nascent field of economic anthropology, he was the first president of the Society for Economic Anthropology, serving from 1980 until 1982. His focus on economic anthropology is first evident in his dissertation, on the ways in which cattle were used by a pastoral people in East Africa. His early contribution was as an articulate advocate for the formalist perspective in economic anthropology. Schneider thought it useful to view human behavior as optimizing behavior, in the tradition of neoclassical economics, and thought that this optimizing behavior manifested itself even among peoples without money or markets. Schneider was Compelled to argue forcefully against the prevailing substantivist perspective, which held that optimizing behavior was characteristic only of societies with markets. The debate took place in academic journals and conferences, and peaked with the publication of Marshall Salin's Stone Age Economics, 1972, and Schneider's Economic Man, 1974. The debate was fundamentally about the relationship between academic economics and academic anthropology, with formalists. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Eager to use the methods of economics and substantivists equally determined to keep economics out of anthropology. By the late 1970s the debate had died down. 4. Human Relations Area Files, Edit Schneider was also interested in using information technology to store and analyze ethnographic information. He served on the executive committee of the Human Relations Area Files between 1981 and 1984 at a time when the organization began moving its data into electronic format. As Edgar Women's notes, the influence of George Peter Murdoch can be seen in Schneider's work, not 
only in his interest in ethnographic databases, a movement which Murdoch pioneered, but in the way in which he developed general causal hypotheses explaining features of social structure. This facet of Schneider's thought is best exemplified in his 1979 Livestock and Equality in East Africa. The economic basis for social structure, where he maintains that a pastoral society's kinship system and its degree of egalitarianism are conditioned by the number of livestock per person. 5. Selected Work, Edit. 1953 The Packet, Suck, of Kenya, with special reference to the role of livestock in their subsistence economy. Ph.D. Dissertation, Northwestern University. 1957 The Subsistence Role of Cattle Among the Packet and in East Africa. American. Anthropologist. 59 278 300. 1964 A Model of African Indigenous Economy and Society. Comparative Studies in Society. And History. 7 35 55. 1968, ed., with Edward E. Leclerc, Jr. Economic Anthropology, Readings in Theory and Analysis. New York, Holt, Reinhardt and Winston. 1970 The Way I Wayne Yacheru, Economics in an African Society. Chicago, Aldine. 1974 Economic Man. New York, Free Press. 1974 Economic Development and Economic Change, The Case of East African Cattle. Current Anthropology. 15 259 265. 1975 Economic Development and Anthropology. Annual Review of Anthropology. 4 271 292. 1979 Livestock and Equality in East Africa, The Economic Basis for Social Structure. Bloomington, Indiana University Press. 1981 The Africans. Inglewood Cliffs, N.J., Prentice Hall. 1981 Livestock as Food and Money. In the Future of Pastoral Peoples. J.G. Galati et al. E.D.S. PP. 210223. Ottawa, International Development Research Centre. 1981 The Pastoralist Development Problem. Journal of Asian and African Studies. 15, 1 and 2. References, Edit. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 1 carat https colon double forward slash www.chster.org forward slash stable forward slash 677963 2 carat a b winnens 1988 415 3 carat winnens 1988 415 to 417 4 carat winnens 1988 415 to 416. 5 carat winnens 1988, 416. Winnens, Edgar V. 1988. Harold K. Schneider, 1925 to 1987. American Anthropologist, New. Series, Volume 90, Number 2. June, 1988, pp. 415417. Just a stable URL. External links, edit. Register to the papers of Harold K. Schneider, National Anthropological Archives. Smithsonian Institution. Categories, Economic Anthropologists Lawrence University Faculty 1987 Deaths. 1925 births 20th century American anthropologists.
Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF.